a little kid from a village uh, near Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh, India. This kid had a very big dream of becoming an engineer. And he was really passionate to go ahead and face all obstacles to reach this dream. But the biggest obstacle that he, along with a lot of other kids in his village faced, was lack of power. In his village, Gurera, power came for just four hours in a day. And that took during the daytime. So at night, if a kid wanted to study, he had to like think twice because he had two choices, either study under these really dim kerosene lamps or just throw away your books and go to sleep. So uh, this kid, he decided to use the latter, sorry, the prior. He studied under those dim kerosene lamps for almost seven to eight years. But those kerosene lamps were so polluting that he ended up getting some respiratory problems. So since he came from a farming family, he knew about this, this machine called a tractor and how its battery worked. The battery was pretty underutilized because it, it was used to blow up the horns and uh, light the, uh, the headlights. But since it bat the tractor was used in the daytime, in the evenings it was of no use. So he decided to utilize this battery to light up a CFL in his home. And it, it seems like a really simple idea, but this had a huge impact on his life. Because of this idea, he could study for three years and he finally got into an engineering college. And the magnitude is such that he competed amongst around 500,000 students. And he was one of the uh, 7,000 odd students to get into college. Now you guys might be wondering which kid am I talking about. That kid is none other than my co-venture Sailya Shupadhyay. So he'll be taking up the presentation. designed the gadget which looks like this. Um, here was a tractor battery which was fitted with the tractor and we uh, I used a small uh, circuit board that has a step down circuit with some rectifiers and one step down transformer and I connected a small CFL with it. So the impact was like I can study around uh, four hours per day at night daily if tractor is running like uh, one day per week also. So I was getting four hours power per month, sorry, per, per day. So uh, the idea was to reduce pollution later because when I when I uh, went to engineering colleges, I came to know about the equation that how this, when we uh, fill up kerosene, how much uh, pollution we create. It was like in liters. Uh, what was the impact? The impact uh, when we realized when I met Ujala in the college, we scaled up to more like 17 homes. I got it for my home when I was preparing for the exams. And when I went to college, we again uh, went back to our village. And we scaled this idea to 17 more homes. And uh, now at least I was the first person to become engineer from my college. And now at least we are getting two to three engineers per year for the university level examination. They are clearing the examination. So most probably the all the engineers I try to convince them to give uh, such impact and someone like me will stand to MIT next year from my village. Uh, the impact will uh, Ujala will discuss. Uh, well, our future aim, our future plan in the next one year is to scale this uh, idea to four more villages. And the figures that you see on the slide, that will be the impact uh, when we execute it in four more homes. And uh, we will definitely help uh, 160 students too to perform in their exams.